Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Black Ops 6 detailed sniper feedback. This video is going to be a follow up to my tweet that I made with all the listed things that I want changed. So I'm just going to recap real quick what I said in the first part of the tweet. So I've spent roughly around 30 hours playing the beta. I would consider myself an above average player and I just feel like I got absolutely pooped on in the BO6 beta using the sniper. I am not shy of admitting it. It, it was rough. I don't want sniping to be easy. In fact, actually like it when it's challenging. I think the last challenging sniping card we've had was probably Cold War. I think Cold War is a very good example of setting a standard for how sniping should be in Call of Duty because the ADS speed wasn't really that fast in that game, but it felt super smooth, responsive, and there were no penalties for ADS jumping, sliding while ADSing, jump shotting while ADSing, etc. Right now in the BO6 beta, it felt like the snipers were outclassed by pretty much every single other gun in the game, and these are the things I want to change to make them on par with all the other weapons. So first of all, I really want a slight increase in the ADS speed. Right now, this is maybe subject to change because the closed beta ends today as of recording this video and there might be some attachment that's coming in in the open beta uh, that further increases the ADS speed or you might have something planned for the full release. So I can only speak as how my experience have been as of right now in the closed beta. And as it is right now, we need some kind of ADS buff. It cannot be this slow if the time to kill is this fast on the other weapons. I'm not talking about making it OP. I, I don't want it to be MW 2022, like fast snipers with fast time to kill. I, I, I don't mind that it's kind of slow. We need just a tad ADS speed. We can't see how much it is right now, but I would probably like just give it a maybe a 10%, 15% buff if you are very generous. And I, I think we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. But we can only be fine if the next points also come into play. So with the fixed ADS speed, the next thing I would look at is the removal of ADS penalties when jump shutting, diving, and sliding. I firmly believe you should be rewarded for your movement and not penalized. All the other weapon categories in the game, they can move around using the Omni movement system perfectly fine. But the snipers, just by being snipers, are penalized in terms of a slow, clunky, omni-movement feel due to the ADS penalties. I want to utilize movement, I want to be good at it, practice it, but right now it's just not very viable when I'm sniping. And therefore, I kind of, I catch myself just doing the things that I normally would, because when I try to do a dive shot with a sniper, it just doesn't work. So either remove the penalties or drastically decrease how much you're penalized. Next up on the list is the delay when no scoping after tactical sprint. Alright, so to show off the after tech sprint no scope delay, let me say click when I click and you can see when the shot actually goes off. And then it goes off like 300, 400 milliseconds after. So tech sprint, click, there it goes. Tech sprint, click, maybe I can't even show you with the mouse. Tax sprint, click. You see that big delay? That has never been any Call of Duty before, and it should not be in this. Alright, so moving on to the sniper bucks that I've experienced. There's a couple things that I personally would love to see changed now coming from MW3 over to this. There's a lot of things that Sledgehammer Games, they did really well with the sniping on that game. But when the game initially came out, it was actually pretty bad in terms of the fluidity of the animations and also these penalties that we kind of see present in the BO6 beta. So first of all, there's the uncentered crosshair when you were inside the scope. The crosshair seems to be misaligned, which will affect your accuracy and it's really just a pain in the ass to try and deal with. I didn't want to show an example of myself playing. There's already this viral Twitter clip going around that already highlights how this uncentered crosshair affects BO6 compared to both Cold War and also MW3 from last year. This is one of the points that they also had an issue with in MW3 last year, but they fixed that in, I think it was season two or three, if I remember correctly, and I didn't experience any problems with it after that. So this is probably the biggest bug I have with the game so far. So I play on mouse and keyboard, and my biggest issue so far with the sniping box is how the mouse sensitivity slows down when you are in the middle of ADSing. So I kind of have an example here where I jumped into a game and try to explain it basically if me and some guy is fighting and we turn a corner do a 180 you know when you don't see each other fully so you do the 180 and have the battle where you turn around and that guy also turns around the other way to like fight each other for me normally i would turn around in any call of duty game scope in mid 180 spin so i have a chance to actually like fight him in this game i cannot do that because my sense gradually slows down as i'm trying to slide here and aim around it slows down when I do that. 
in any other Call of Duty, when I do the slide, turn 180, I can turn around fully with my sensitivity being one to one. If I'm not scoped in, in the middle of scoping in, or I'm fully scoped in. And that's the issue here. However, the fix that I kind of found for it is I don't have the problem while using red guns. When I use a red gun and have a normal uptick, nothing happens. Like everything feels normal, but when I have the sniper scope on, I feel it a lot. So I tried to change the optic that I used on the sniper to a red dot side. It made it much better. So my theory currently is that it's only occurring when you put on some sort of zoom in optic. Let's say I go from the red dot side, which is like one time scope, and I go up to like a five time scope. It increasingly gets worse and worse. I hope that's well enough explained. It's kind of hard to explain. Also, I wish there was private match because I. I kind of get killed over and over, so I swap spawns here, but that's the best way I can describe it. And for the last point, basically Sledgehammer Games last year, they also kind of had the same issue up until a later season where they changed it. So in the BO6 beta, when you shoot a blow with a sniper and you start tax burning immediately after, it will not display the rechambering of the sniper, it would show you lifting up your gun from the tax burn animation. In MW3, in later seasons, they changed it, so after you shoot a blow with a sniper, you don't immediately start your tax burn animation. You actually like start your rechambering animation while you still tax burn, but you don't show like lifting up the gun. You can clearly see when you shoot a bullet and you start running, you like pull up the weapon and then you cock it back and pull it down and then it goes up again. So you do like this, like it looks really clunky and funny. Just do what Sledgehammer Games did with MW3, look perfect. There's nothing I would change about that. It was smooth and beautiful looking. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this tweet in a video format where I could kind of more showcase the points that I have. It's very in-depth and I'm very passionate about this game. I'm passionate about Call of Duty and I love making videos, streaming on it. I've been doing that for the past 15 years. I don't see that ever changing. I really just want a nice feeling, fluid game experience and in the beta so far, I haven't experienced that and I really hope you're gonna take these things into consideration Treyarch because it would make the experience so much better. With that being said though, thank you for watching, peace.